Hey friends, tis that time again, recipe time. So this time I decided to show you, uh, due to requests, how I make my overnight oatmeal. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get started. This is what I'm going to be using in my version. So uh, here is, as you can see, my unsweetened vanilla almond breeze, some hemp hearts, raw shelled hemp seeds, these are really really good and I'm going to use a tiny bit of actual oatmeal um, this is organic rolled they're not instant yeah these are organic rolled oats vanilla extract some cardamom cinnamon stevia chia seeds and this sugar-free maple syrup now let's get started all right so there's no science to this, really. I just take the ingredients I want and I stick them in the bowl and um, you'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's really simple. I don't like to make my life too complicated, so I just make as much as I feel I'm going to want to eat. So about three tablespoons of the hemp parts. And then I like to do two tablespoons of the chia seeds. Non-GMO, of course. And next I will do just one tablespoon of organic rolled oats. And yes, you can totally omit this part if oats freak you out in any way, but they don't me. This will make about two servings. Yeah, so. Okay, what do I do next? Next, I add some of my organic Trader Joe's favorite stevia. The only kind of stevia I like to have. For me, I usually add just like two scoops. But you can add it to taste however much you prefer. That is totally up to you. And then I like to add a good, a good helping of cinnamon. Just again, to taste. If you like cinnamon, knock yourself out. <laughs> if you don't, you can omit it altogether and a little bit of cardamom. It just gives it that extra something I really like. And so you wanna mix all of your lovely dry ingredients together. Oh, and also I like to add some, um, some kind of nuts to this. Uh, I like to add some sliced almonds that I usually get at Costco, but since we're now moving to Germany, I'm going to have to find another place to supply my almonds. <laughs> These guys. And often what I like to do is add my dehydrated strawberries to this, but I just ran out, so I'm gonna make this bowl without my dehydrated strawberries. So, but it'll be fine. And then I just add enough cashew milk to cover everything really well. A nice, slightly watery consistency will do. Um, the chia seeds are going to um, soak up all this milk and uh, expand and it's going to become a really nice oatmeal like I use that term loosely oatmeal <laughs> like texture but uh, for me it's definitely good enough and it takes care of that occasional craving for something like this and by the way you can have it cold or you can have it hot 
I like to heat mine up. Sometimes I do have it like in a cold form, kind of pudding, pudding-y. That's not even a word, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh yeah, and I didn't add my vanilla extract, about a tablespoon, half a tablespoon. See, I told you there's no science to this. I just do what I think will taste good to me. Mix it in. Oh, it's already thickening up nicely. And then in the morning, you're also going to add a bit more milk to uh, get to your desired consistency. So, yeah. But I'll show you how I do that in the morning. So I'm just going to cover this with plastic and I will see you guys in the morning and show you what it looks like and show you what I do before I eat it. See you in the morning. Alrighty you guys, good morning. <laughs> um, it's morning and I'm about to eat my overnight oatmeal and before I dig in I wanted to show you what it looks like and what the last step that I do is so there it is it's a bit thick because as I was saying yesterday that the chia seeds absorb a lot of moisture so it is pretty much solid meaning it's not gonna go anywhere so what I do next is I add some of this type of milk. I really like this. Um, it is much lower in carbs than your regular milk, but it's regular milk. So um, I've shown this to you guys before. It has six carbs per cup and I don't um, usually use a cup so and sometimes if I want to though I can if I um, am good on my carbs for the day then I can let myself have some so yeah I'll just add to kind of bring back that consistency that I like and make it a bit more liquidy because I like my oatmeal to be a little bit liquid even when I used to eat real oatmeal before I went keto, um, I used to like oatmeal that was more on the runny side or liquidy side. I don't know. I don't like the word runny. It just doesn't sound appealing. But <laughs> there we go. And now you can either choose to um, heat it up or eat it cold. When it's cold, it's more like, mm, I don't know, like a pudding-y texture, I guess you could say, like a rice pudding-y texture. Uh, but it's really good. Um, I prefer to warm mine up, um, but like I said, I like to have it both ways. It all depends on what mood I'm in. And then after I added the milk and mixed it in, that's when I add my delicious, very, very low carb um, syrup. I add about this much and it is good to go. It makes it taste mapley and delicious and reminds me of oatmeal even more. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I do. And um, then you mix it in so that the flavor is all in there. So yeah, this is it. And this is how I make my oatmeal, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video.